Hello, Barstool. My name is Mary Nesbitt. I am super excited to come on here and just be able to share my story. I first want to show so much gratitude to you guys for just like making a way for small businesses like to have a way to survive, especially at this time. Um, we know that it's been a rough year for businesses all in all. You look left and right. You see so many closing signs in people's windows. So I'm super grateful for you guys for doing this. Um, my name is Mary Nesbitt. I am in Maryland. I run a small gym in the city of Baltimore. It's called Affirm Fitness. I will have a second video on in this grid so that you can see some of the things that we do there. We do fitness classes. We do um, nutritional things to show people how a better way to eat, to get healthy. So we go by the factor, it's 80% nutrition, 20% fitness, but it's 100% mindset and con commitment. So, um, and we utilize that, that whole mindset commitment around all of the other avenues and areas of our lives, right? So for us, we bring people in from the inner city primarily. We're working with um, people of all ages, starting off with all like all backgrounds, all shapes, all sizes, all sexes, moms, dads, all religions, um, all genders, like everything, right? So we, we have a, a big community of people who have became family, like coming to a gym, like that's what sets us apart from the traditional gym, like the LA Fitnesses, Planet Fitnesses, uh, you fits, et cetera, is because we really, we really look each other in the eye. We really say hello. We really get each other's name. And it's not just coming in there, putting your headphones on and zoning out, which is nothing wrong with that. But what we promote in our community is togetherness. Stronger together is one of our sayings. Um, you going to quit? No, because we don't, we push each other. We make sure if one person may be having a tough day or whatever, that we support them, right? So that's what we're all about. And again, you'll see some videos and things like that on uh, in this grid. What my business does, we're in the business of transformations, right? Mind and body and for a lot spiritual. So um, again, the the tr the physical transformations come from the fitness, us talking about the nutrition, which is key, right? The mind transformation happens over time when you commit to something new, you know that you gotta, you know, switch some things as, as far as your truth and your thinking um, about certain habits you may have, right? And then the spiritual part comes in because you realize it's way deeper than, you know, just getting in shape is really, um, is really tapping into that, that God power, right? So that's what our business is about. It's about transformation, um, of the person. Uh, and, and we know that that one person is connected to 10 other people, his family, his or her family, his or her coworkers, his or her, um, um, community, uh, and religious churches, whatever, all of those different groups and, and, and communities this person is in, the 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 energy we pour into that person and, and the way that we support them in getting their results, that's a representation when they go out into the world and do their things and meet their people or whatever, they get to see like, wow, this person is making changes. So that's what our business is about, is to be that light for people to let them know that they can make those changes. Um, is it going to be easy? No, but it's a lot easier when you're around committed people in a community that's going to support you throughout. So that's what our business is about. Um, now, I kind of already tied into the impact that it makes in our community. Uh, myself, I am... Um, I am a person who likes to support people, uh, be people's biggest cheerleaders to let them know that they can do it when so many people have probably told them that they can't be it with whatever kind of goal that they're going for. So I think that that has made a big impact. This is why we're still still surviving after five years is because of how we make people feel. So, you know, people don't always remember what you say, but they'll remember how you made them feel. So we make sure that we're making people feel wanted, making people feel included, making people feel powerful. Um, and Affirm Fitness is the, the name, Affirm Fitness. So affirmations are something we talk about a lot, like 
speaking life into every situation, no matter what it looks like. So even this situation with the pandemic and small businesses going out of business and struggling and stuff like that, we're continuously speaking light, right? Even coming across this and being able to, to speak about what we do is amazing. So and it, it took something like this for us to really, for me to even sit here and really realize all of the impact we're making. It's really incredible. But um, so that's the thing is just um, speaking, speaking life into everybody, especially in the inner cities. We know how that can be um, a lot of negative talk and thinking and, and lack. So we we're bringing um, a different narrative to the city. Uh, and Affirm Fitness, again, is about affirmation. So affirming big things for yourself. Um, again, in mind, body, and soul. Uh, funding, how it could help us is obviously to help us keep our doors open to make sure that um, we don't be silenced due to uh, a pandemic. Yes, the government has created some small business loans, but unfortunately, we did not get any of those. We have been literally surviving off of, um, well, I'm grateful. I wouldn't call it surviving. We've been yeah we've been we've been we've been making it uh with our client base that we've we've grown over the last five years but now we have limited capacity so we can't even have our doors open for everyone we are doing different things such as zoom and trying to like supplement in that way but it's not the same um and it's not bringing in the same profit so it's just it's just different so the this will be amazing. This will be great um, if we got this because it would really allow us to to be functioning fully, but without all of the worry of, yeah, people contracting COVID, us being responsible in that way because we have to be, but also um, understanding about, you know, the profit side of things. So that would be a big, big um Peace of mind, one, but two, it would allow us to, so when we are back fully operating, for everyone to just roll back in, get things back going. Because as we know right now, health and fitness is tremendously important. Keeping your immune system is tremendously important. We promote that, we believe that, and we live that. So um, us keeping our doors open is so important beyond us. So um, yes, I hope I answered everything. I hope you guys got... Um, understanding of what we stand for, what our mission is, um, the impact we we have been doing, and will continue to do, uh, and we hope that we can continue to do it in our space that we're in. Provided that we get support um, from you guys, would be amazing, and we just can't wait to be fully functioning again and to be operating and really providing the service and the things that our people deserve. So. Thank you guys so much. And I appreciate this again. So much gratitude for you guys doing this because you didn't have to. All right, that's it. Thank you.